Okay, listen up vlog. Before the vlog starts, I want to make everybody aware, if you are a YouTube creator, or are planning, and, or, and, one of the two, are planning to attend VidCon Europe in Amsterdam in March, I will be there. It would be awesome to meet up. So, uh, connect with me on the social medias. If you're a Scottish creator, connect with me in the, uh, YouTube creators Scottish Facebook group thing that I help run so do that uh, We'll maybe set up an event this year like we did for last year. So um, yeah, I will be at VidCon Europe in Amsterdam uh, March 20 I don't know, but I'll be there <laughs> Dates to be confirmed. I'll leave them down below <laughs> Anyway, on with the vlog. Learn to look a lot like snowmass everywhere you go. Three day in Scotland. It is quite snowy today. Uh, it's been snowing all day. Now I'm heading to the gym. <laughs> and it's a still snowing on the ground. I like snow when it falls. I like looking at it. I don't like walking in it. Nice and pretty. This is all turning to slush. Blech. Like when it snows, drivers just stop paying attention to the traffic lights. Because half of the cars are those traffic lights. We just got right through when it was red and it was green to cross. Come on guys, get your act together. It's dry in here. The snow keeps people away. <laughs> is a necessity. I came out of Costa and I actually almost slid into the zebra crossing because <laughs> it's straight at like a hill on the pavement, the top of the hill. So, glad I didn't slide. <laughs> Shopping pro with my trolley here, doing adult things, looking for computer paper. Apparently, it's in this aisle. No idea where. Well, it is day two of the snow. But anyway, on to the point in this vlog, which is about smart targets and setting goals for your New Year's resolutions. So when you're setting targets and goals, you want them to be smart. So specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and time-based. Much like that train. Perfectly on time. Despite the snow. <laughs> Hi train. So you want to make sure when you're setting your targets or goals that they fall into those areas. So one of mine is that I want to, every day, make sure I'm up and when I'm going to the gym, I'm at the gym by 8.30. Sundays when I'm not working in Edinburgh, I tend to like be a bit more lazy about getting up and get up a bit later, go to the gym and that means my whole day is a bit later. It's like the afternoon before I'm actually getting anything done productive-wise that I need to do for that day other than going to the gym. So let's look at my specific goal here. Going to the gym at 8.30. Is it specific? Would be the first thing we would ask. Well, yeah, going to the gym at 8.30, that's pretty specific. Is it measurable? Well, yeah, you could see each date that I do this at the time I agreed, yes. And now we'd ask, is it achievable? Is it something that's within my power to do? Well, yeah. And then, is it realistic? So is it something that can actually be done, is that a realistic goal? Well yeah, because I already go to the gym on a regular basis. I already get up for a train at 8 30 in Edinburgh. Lastly, is it time based? So when am I going to put a time on it to review this target again? So I could say, maybe in like 3 months, I'll come back to it and say, okay, have I done that? What can I do better to achieve it? And while it is a good idea to set specific goals using the smart target system, you can also set some general things you want to accomplish through the year. And there's my train. So one of my year, year long goals, I want to kind of just work on to the year, is building my business more. So like building, I've got a bunch of plans for stuff to do this year, for like building a completely new business automation system for products, for L6 hosting, and also to develop more of the new Eden stuff, if you know about that. 
it. So, and also just to develop this channel and grow it. So those are some like it's a, it's a big goal for like going forward, just to kind of develop more business stuff. But that's just something I want to continue to work on this year. Green bar shop. Probably because we're almost in Aberdeen. <laughs> Aberdeen is freezing. Chocolate is exactly what I need right now. And banana muffin, which I haven't had in ages. Well, I'm here in my hotel room in Aberdeen. Um, I We've had some meetings and got more meetings to come. Unfortunately, Matthew is going to be joining me here, but he has the flu, so... Um, unfortunately he was not able to come, but that's sad because that would have been fun having Matthew here. Anyway, um, yeah, I just I would say here's the hotel room, it's not too bad. Yep, uh, hotel room. And then we have over this way, we have the, I'm going to walk backwards, try not to fall over. We have the bathroom up this way, up here, like so, in here, like this, and this is the bathroom which has no bath <laughs> it has a shower but anyway um but yeah that is that's what's happening um i'm gonna go i'm tired so i'll see you guys in the next clip whatever that is because i don't know yet bye well i'm now back home from uh being in aberdeen and yeah it's still snowing is a it's been snowing like all week here, like not joking, like basically every day here it's been snowing. Oddly enough, up north in Aberdeen, no snow. So yeah, but all the way across the central belt of Scotland is just, it's been snow all, all week. So that's been fun. To be honest, I would prefer snow to rain, so I'm glad it's snow and not rain. But yeah, that's gonna conclude this week's vlog. I'd like to thank you for watching. Remember to take your goals and aspirations and targets and write them down, set out some smart targets for what you want to accomplish. If you just Google smart targets, you'll find them. Like how to set a smart target, you'll find more information about them. Smart targets are used a lot in like business and I highly recommend you use them in your personal life because I intend to use them a lot and it will, it's good for just making sure that you're setting goals that you can actually achieve and accomplish. But as well as making those smart targets, remember just to look at the big picture stuff and think about what you, the big things that you want to accomplish this year. And you can even take those big things, and I actually recommend you do this, take them and then use them to build your smart targets for throughout the year, for things you want to do to achieve those big picture goals. So for example, if you're looking to like build your career, you can take that, that's a big goal, you can break that down into little targets and you can say, well, the first thing I need to do is write a CV or I need to look for jobs and you can be like, okay, I can, make a smart, I can make smart targets out of this and then use those to accomplish your big picture goals. So make sure to do both, make sure to have your smart targets, but also to have your big picture goals for through the year. And just a couple of additional tips. Um, everybody who has a phone or a computer should have access to at least a calendar. Use the calendar on your phone or computer to put things in. If you have an email account, most providers will also give you a calendar. Uh, function with that. So just use that. I use it all the time. I have multiple calendars with multiple different emails because I have multiple email addresses for things like at the university, for L6, for just different things. So I'll put things in my calendar, stuff I need to do. And uh, it's it's great for just keeping track because you remind, it remind you if you have a meeting. And also if you have a smartphone or you have a computer, you should have access to a reminders app or a tasks app or something like OneNote or the iPhone reminders app. I use it all the time for setting reminders for things, stuff I need to do. It's why it's one of the main secrets to how I can be so productive and do so many things is because I don't have to fill my brain trying to remember and think about them. So if you think about something you need to do, put it in your reminders app, make or even just use your notes app, make a note, just write it down because you will be so much more productive than trying to remember all these things in your head. I have reminders for everything from little day tasks like to take my tablets in the morning because you know we're human, sometimes we forget to do those things to big things like if I need to accomplish all these things today, if I need to, I have one for editing the vlog for example and I'll just set them up, I'll have repeating ones and I'll have ones that are just one off reminders to go off. So just utilize that, it's a really good, really good way to keep on top of everything you need to do, especially if you are busy and have a lot of things going on like I do. And the good thing about like putting things in these apps and writing them down is it means you don't have to worry about remembering them in your head. Everybody only has a certain attention span and a certain ability to like remember things 
And if you fill your memory up with all the things you need to do and you're worrying about these things, if you're worrying about, oh, I need to get all these things done, I find it so much more helpful to put all of these, just write them down, put them in an app, put them somewhere so that you don't have to remember them, you don't have to think about them, and then you can just focus on bigger picture things and think about those things instead of having to think about all the little things that you need to do through your day. And then let your phone just remind you to do them when you need to do them. So yeah, that's some additional tips and some... Woo! <laughs> that's some additional tips and advice that I would recommend for you guys to do. Uh, make sure to do it, make sure to set your targets, set your goals, and have a great 2018. And I will see you guys in the next vlog. Make sure to share this video with your friends and family if you liked it and it helped you. Do subscribe to the channel or follow the whatever you're watching this on, I would very much appreciate that. And click the links down below, there's probably some links down there to other places you can find me and my content. So please do that and don't forget to comment on the video and like it. I would very much appreciate that. So I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Adios. Aha, before I go, don't forget, I will be in Amsterdam for VidCon Europe. Come to VidCon Europe if you're a YouTube creator. Be sure to reach out to me and uh, we'll maybe meet up. That would be really cool. March, uh, it's like 23rd, 24th, I'll be there, the creator track. So make sure you're there if you are a YouTube creator. See you guys later.